Hi everyone, this is Dr. Shochin Anandatto from Ecore Learning. So in today's uh, topic, we'll discuss about the mangrove ecosystem. So mangrove means it's uh, a Portuguese word mango. It means a type of tree and uh, English word groups, it means a group of trees. So mangrove means a special type of tree with in a group. So a special type of tree means they are found in a zone where the river meet with your ocean. So it's the river and here the oceans. So in this particular zone you can find so mangrove, mangrove forest. So mangrove is a, a river to ocean. So it's the river and ocean in between transitional zone then you can find. So that is also called estuary. It's called estuary. And so the important of uh, mangrove it's, it is a huge important in terms of ecological, economical and the social. One of the most productive ecosystem on earth and it is also acts as a fertilizer of the sea, protect the coastal zone. So it's also protect the coastal zone. How it is protect the coastal zone? You have a mangrove patch here and you have your cities here. Ah. And, and here is the ocean waves are coming here is the ocean wave tides are coming so during the surge surge or tidal surges the mangrove waves are also protected by this mangrove forest and protecting the village or the protecting uh, the hymen habitation there so it's act as a uh, protector of coastal zone and it is also breeding and feeding ground of many different fish species lots of fish species and comes in this zone and it's safe for them to breed and safe for them to feed because here's a lots of litter fall we'll see the mangrove uh, litter fall or the mangrove uh, food chain later on so no terrestrial plant can survive in the adverse condition why because here is the huge salinity so around uh, 35 uh, ppt salinity less than that and here is the river fresh water fresh water and here you can find this saline water so this is a hostile condition because it's a mixed up of fresh water and saline water so no other plant can survive in this adverse condition so mangrove plant have a great potential to the adapt or the change of the climate and it is also have uh, rises sea level and the solar ultraviolet radiation it can be adapted so next we'll see adaptation of mangrove so mangrove adaptation is very important so it's it has a supporting roots we have seen the supporting roots here huh? Then supporting roots means huge uh, ocean waves, tides, because the sometimes the 50% time they are covered with the high tide, their whole water covered with water. So uh, waves can be protected. Uh, this uh, support root, okay, they are also called the steel root. And the beaver examination here we can see beaver. in this hostile condition the swell salinity is very high, so there will be very uh, low probability of germinate the seed in this hostile condition. So germination will be taking place on the plant whenever it's attached to its plant body. So then the germination takes place whenever it falls to the soil it just plant and the waxy leaves here you can see this also waxy leaf it's a, it's the waxy leaves helps uh, to reduce the rate of uh, evaporation because whatever fresh water they are taking from the root they have to store it otherwise the uh, due to the evaporation loss will be uh, huge and then they have breeding root here is the breeding root huh? these are the breeding root because the ox soil is also lack of oxygen so they have to take the oxygen from uh, the directly from the air so lack of oxygen so they have to take oxygen from the air so that's why the breeding root is coming out here you can see the breeding root okay and uh, so these are the all the kind of uh, adaptation of mangrove then you can also find that the most of the time is waterlogged i have already told that 50 percent during the high tide there always waterlogged an anaerobic condition because of the low rate of oxygen in the soil so low rate of oxygen it's anaerobic and saline soil of the coastal environment next we'll see the mangrove succession succession means so 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 you have seen the this is the line that where is the daily high tide lake and low tide lake. so most of the plant few of the plant are the uh, always covered with the slime water because of the tide level uh, so which are always submerged in the uh, high tide uh, water or the most of the level low tide also they are called the red mangrove and this before beside the red mangrove the few plant only submerge in case of uh, high tide or low tide not always so much so they are called the black mangrove and white mangrove they are present in, uh, in, in 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 the black mangrove in front of the black mangrove and they are have in the saline soil okay and the other plant the coconut and the lots of other plant they are beyond to the landward side and this is the seaward side so this is the mangrove succession and junations 
and so distribution of mangrove there's a world distribution of mangrove you can see that all the mangroves are dominated to this is the zero degree line it means this is a tropic in the tropical region where the uh, uh, the sunlight is come directly uh, most of the part so the mangrove is situated within the the very close to tropic region so most of the mangrove are concentrated on the tropical line and most uh, patch is the what most uh, mangrove distribution is the uh, in this uh, Asian or the Australian continent in between the uh, Pacific and the Indian Ocean region. And here you can see the Sundarban. This is the world largest mangrove on planet. And if you see the state-wise mangrove distribution, then we have see the West Bengal is the first uh, is a huge mangrove. Uh, uh, percentage we have around 2000 square kilometer covered of mangrove and that Sundarban is also situated here and we are sharing the Bangladesh mangrove in this region so this is the world largest mangrove along with India and Bangladesh and then most uh, Gujarat from Ragri from Gujarat in Gujarat you can find the Rana Kutch uh, then uh, around 1000 square kilometer and the very least mangrove is found in Karnataka that is in Mangalore region in Kerala Kerala is a huge backwater so there is very less mangrove will be there and Goa is very less mangrove in uh, the Mandu Pijuari state you can find the few mangroves so then Krishna Godavari in Dandra is a huge mangrove patch you can find hmm. so this is a state-wise mangrove creation uh, mangrove cover area in India then now comes to the mangrove food chain. This is the most important part of the mangrove ecosystem because mangrove leaves are fall. So litter fall is the huge rate in mangrove uh, forest. In in here, the thing is that they are directly grazed by the crab. Lots of crab is a very home, a suitable home for the mangrove forest. And this litter particle also uh, degraded by uh, the or also the lots of bacteria fungi will be concentrated on this particular uh, to take the litter of litter mangrove leaves and this organic matter substance is also absorbed by the sediment and that sediment also also takes algae as a food and the algae take uh, by the mud will look eaten by the mulch holder and also this sediment is also by the algae this algae and bacteria they are also taken by the protozoa as their food and this protozoa is also taken as uh, degraded as a detritus so mangrove leaves after the date it become a detritus and here this bacteria fungal recognition colony they that is also take the food as a fish and prawn and they are also for organic particular matter they degraded the organic particular matter from here and after the date of this thing they are come to the as a detritus so this detritus from the protogens and the fish and prawn is also taking the small crustacean as their food and the small crustacean is also taken by the small fish small fish are taken by the large fish and large piece is taken by the us so it's a it's a huge uh, chain of uh, food chain so but it's basically we can call it's a detritus food chain so you can here see the detritus food chain of mango ecosystem so litter fall here is the litter fall and after this litter fall this organic debris will be coming here and this organic part will be the detritus uh, after the, it is organic part is also taking food as a prawn this marine body pets and bivalves and these bivalves and small fish also taken by the large uh, birds lots of uh, birds and uh, here will be the birds will be taking the small fish and the small fish also taken by the big fish and this fish is also taken by us human okay so this is uh, all about the mangrove uh, food chain now role of mangrove role of ecological role we divided the role in ecological economic and social so ecological role it has a i have already told that it's a breeding and nursery ground of the lots of coastal organism from fish to lots of uh, crustaceans and uh, lots of invertebrates and it's an excellent sediment trapper so mangrove plant mangrove plant is a very good sediment trapper means lots of runoff from the river or this river means lots of uh, sediment will be coming from this river and that will be trapped by the mangrove and heavy metal is also absorbed by the mangroves so it's also absorber and also um, clean the pollution uh, from uh, the water and it is a shelter of huge aquatic resources we will see later on and it's a home of the tiger this world only tiger home that is the sundarman and the fishing cat etc and it's so protected check it and i have already discussed in my previous uh, slide and it is an excellent pollution sink uh, so i have already discussed that the heavy metal the physiological they are also absorb the heavy metal okay and uh, lots of it's a home of lots of endangered or rare species like uh, batagubasca is one of the most endangered species and the shrill crocodile and winter lizard and lots of marine turtle and also the king cobra snake is also found in here and it's a highly productive ecosystem and high nutrient export potential toward the adjoining ecosystem 
If we see the economic role, it is a huge economic role because it's the source of the timber for the and fill. And it mango bark, mango bark used as a tin. So um, in leather industry, uh, we can use the mango bark juice for the training. Hmm tanning of leather most of the mangrove have a local medicinal use huh? and they as we know that uh, acantha cilio for me so that is the god in Bengali it is called hargoja so whenever uh, to treatment of uh, tiger bite the local indigenous knowledge is uh, use of acanthesias huh? and it's a good source of biofatal lots of cyanobacteria so it is also used as a single cell protein SCP so then it is a uh, uh, rich source of the honey wax and uh, table salt fuel loop huh? so sundarban honey is world famous it's a very good tasty uh, honey mm -hmm. and rich source of unihaline uh, fish so it's a huge fish resources coming from the mangrove some petki to mullets to grouper to illies they are also coming in this mangrove we can find the mangrove and it is a hotspot of eco -tourism. let's see the eco tourism so Sundarban is the home for uh, the international tourist spot. Huh. Lots of national international tourists are coming to Sundarban for visit on a regular basis. So biodiversity, um, so mangal that is the mangrove. Mangrove vegetation have a huge classification of different species. So floral species here will be around 71 OT and 23 hog species are found in Indian Sundarban. And most of the Indian Sundarban and uh, Mahanadi Eshwari and Andaman Nikobar you have find is a huge mangrove diversity. West Coast have very limited mangrove species, but they have also a very good number of species. Abyssinia marina is the principal species of Western Coast and Sundari Hilitira from whatever we know that uh, Sundarban is come from this Sundari tree. It's found in Sundarban and Andaman and Mahanadi Eshwari. And there are two mangrove palm species that is the Nephophoticans and the uh, Felix Pelidosia. So Nephophoticans is a very good uh, mangrove palm and the phoenix bullet is the home it's it's a very i mean uh camouflage a tiger is very preferred this phoenix we will see here this is the nephophoticans plant uh, this is the phoenix pelodosa this is the home of the tiger is very uh, camouflage in behind of this plant and if he uh avicenia officinal is avicenia marinia avicenia alba then acanthacilia for peace that we have said the harcoja that is the tiger bite they use this and the satyana home that is the sundari and rigid for me and if you funnel diversity we have seen there will be this is the only mangrove land or land where you can found the tiger in the world okay and this other one we have found a sharing of the salvator lizard mountain lizard then many lots of many turtle olive ridley hawksbill green turtle leatherback and mangrove which is they are coming to lay their eggs and badagur baska we have there said it the river therapine it is also uh, found in Sundarban region. Fishing cat, leopard cat, jungle cat is very prominent in uh, the mango forest in Sundarban. And uh, lots of UV herring fishes, lots of lots of huge species of fish will be found there. King cobra, it's an endangered snake, python, and lots of play birds is very important. Lots of varieties of king fish are found in the mango forest. So here is a few clips of uh, clips of the mango of uh, diversity, crocodile forests, batagorbaska, and this white spotted king fisher then the mangrove sea snake mangrove snake then this mud skipper then the mud then uh, uh cat then sundarban mango forest uh, if we see the sundarban mango forest at a glance it is uh, a home of around 6000 square kilometer in bangladesh and 4000 square kilometer in india and sundari is a dominant species and uh, that name is coming from the sundarban and world heritage site it is also around the site 44 percent of bangladesh forest and uh, Bengal tiger will be there, there will be dolphin will be there and possess a rich in fauna diversity of species of fauna and flora around 846 species and aquatic in water but aquatic fish species we can find around 220 species altitude less than 3 meter for sea level rise temperature varies from 14 to 43 degrees centigrade so it's all about the Sundarban and Sundarban forest so we have already discussed about uh, this thing in our previous uh, slides and the but the around uh, beyond this uh, diversity the main concern is uh, the rate in year wise the mangrove is declining mangrove forest area is declining in every uh, continent but most uh, maximum decline rate in asia and then the also south america so this amazon forest and the indian sundarban and this uh, myanmar and this uh, thailand they have also a huge degradation mangrove forest so this is uh, the cause the cause of the degradation of mango forest is first of all it's aquaculture and the agriculture and tourism these are the three major cause of decline of mango forest of worldwide and then industrial and domestic pollution is a huge rate to reduce the mango forest oil spill regular oil spill on the on the seashore or the in the region port development lots of port are coming 
uh, on the for zone where it's very sensitive zone for uh, eco sensitive zone that's mango the post port are coming so they are huge damage to the mango forest and the dumping all kind of waste and depletes and just deforestation of wild food and over devastation of many resources from fisheries to primary deep resources under uh, over devastation so here is the one picture that shows that the how mango forest are changing in last uh, 20 years in 30 or 40 years in 1969 the forest was that much but in the, if you see in jambudi that total that much but in 2009 the jambudi is now only this much only so how much is uh, land erosion of the mango erosion taking place in india since the last 40 years the conservation strategy to conserve the mangrove forest lots of mangrove uh, committees and uh, environmental laws and wildlife protection act will be uh, modified or developed and here the national mangrove committee will be formed in 1979 and the most uh, important thing about this committee is to assess uh, the mangrove uh, forest and uh, also the quantitative survey of the area and its its climate regime and its growth of the forest whether it's going on earth and the environmental trace and mangrove parameters and seasonal and they are also have lots of conservation program lots of awareness program forestation and duration areas uh, so these are the all the measures taken by the nasa mangrove committee and uh, two major strategies are follows first of all the mangrove afforestation and degraded uh, blank suitable area so first of all you have to afforest or new plantation of mangrove where identify the where is the blank area then you can do you can increase the mangrove vegetation percentage area and then protection of the existing mangrove forest whatever you have just protect it then we have the CRT regulation. Mr. Indira Gandhi is in, incorporate the CRT regulation in 1991. In 2011, it is the most amended part of CRT. And here, the no development zone in CRT one. It is eco sensitive zone that is the mangrove coral seagrass. No mangrove patch measuring 100 square kilometer area can be damaged above 150 meter. No development zone. That is the main thing. It, but, but nobody can uh, obey this rule. So you can go in some other anywhere and mangrove area. You can see that rule. Lots of development will take place, and the National Environmental Policy in 2006 it's saying that its approach is a sustainable mangrove area around a dead square kilometer, less than 100 square kilometer. Then the Indian Forest Act and Wildlife Protection Act is also given uh, in favor of the mangrove, mangrove forest is protection, mangrove wild habitat is also protected by the Wildlife Protection Act in 1972. Tamil Nadu government have given a uh, few protection of mangrove and also the West Bengal government is also given few participatory mangrove management in Sundarban area. So that's all. Thank you. Thank you for listening. Please like and share the video and put your comments on.